the New England Journal of Medicine is just being hammered with study after study saying this genetic test is of little or no prognostic value and uh, um, is not recommended and so forth. And there's lots and lots of those. And I was actually getting pretty down about it until I, I was listening to the radio. And right after I just finished reading one of those reviews of the genetic test literature, I heard on the radio about the big mega study that was supposed to settle once and for all about the prostate specific antigen. Mm. And it came back and it was exactly the same language of little or no prognostic value that the odds ratios are sort of, uh, we're not really sure. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks that you can't answer these questions in isolation, that you can't understand the prostate test without the genome, and you can't understand the genome without the prostate test, that it's going to be through the combination of the genotype and the phenotype data, and not just at individual sites, but over lots and lots of sites, that then it's all going to come together. And when it does, it's going to be, it's going to be a tipping point. There will be a phase transition, and it's going, to be, it's going to feel, for many people that aren't involved in actually doing the work, uh, like it happened instantaneously. Like mm. I wake up one morning and say, whoa, when did that happen? That now all of a sudden that you can't do without your genome, you can't take proper care of yourself without your genome. And in that sense, uh, we're not ready for the, the, the data because the, the regulatory structures are not going to be prepared uh, for this new realization that the, the um, somebody described it to me, I think even just a, earlier today, as um, uh, trying to do a U-turn uh, in a, um, an aircraft carrier. And that it's not just one agency. If it was just the FDA, it'd be fine. But you have more than one agency, so it's like trying to do synchronized swimming with aircraft carriers. <laughs> uh, and that that's not going to lead to a, uh, a useful technology for all of us in the time frame where I think people are going to perceive that we really need it.